Hello, thank you for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about relationships. Um, this will be a second uh, video to the one that I answered a question for a um, subscriber. And then I had another subscriber to ask me about relationships. I have said that I do have videos um, kind of talking about relationships, but I thought that this would be a great opportunity to kind of talk a little bit about relationships. I know it's been a while since I talked about the dating relationship. Um, on my channel so today we are going to just do a little bit of chit chatting um just about relationships because all of us are looking for love all of us is looking for relationships and i had one um subscriber ask me about the dating phase um you know how to stay connected with someone how to keep you know what do you do how long do you wait before you contact the person after the date how you know kind of like this whole beginning of the relationship type process and this is what i would say to the question of when you have your first date i always say never give out like a whole paragraph i mean I've been on dates where guys have just given me too much and it was too overwhelming and I really didn't want a second date. On the first date, you're going to meet the person, you're going to see the person, the person is going to see you. You're going to see if there's any chemistry. You guys will talk, you will either be at dinner, movies or whatever you decide to do. And this is a time where you can communicate, you can talk to this person you know, letting them know your likes, your dislikes, but you don't want to ever overwhelm anyone with your whole life history is what I'm trying to say in one setting. You want to tell her enough to keep her wanting to know you more. And if this is a lady, you want to communicate enough for him to want to ask you out on a second date. And then after you guys have your date, um, you both go your separate ways. I think another one of his questions was, he was asking, when do you contact the person after the first date? You know, do you wait a few days to contact them? Do you wait? And I, the timing that I would say would be to contact her to make sure she got home. Regard, even if it's not late at night that you guys were on your first date or on your first meet and greet or whatever this was, uh, I would say make sure that she got home safely um, to give her a call. And just, you know, let's say her name is Renee. Renee, you know, I just wanted to make sure you got home. And she'll be like, oh yeah, I just got home. I'm fixing to wind down, shower and whatever, and get ready for bed. And this is the time where you would say, okay, well, um, when would be a good time that I can call you? Uh, and you can always let her know, cause some guys would let me know. They would say, I don't wanna be too pushy. So do you want me to call you tomorrow? Or, um, you know, what would be a good time for you to call me? Never, and this is me, and, and he's asking me for advice. Never ask her to call you. Some guys will throw the ball in the woman's court and say, okay, I'm gonna wait on her to call me, but no. If you are really serious about a relationship, and when he asks me these questions, I am assuming that he is very serious about relationships. So if you are serious about wanting a relationship, wanting a wife, wanting a long time, you know, wanting a relationship, I would say call her as soon as she gets home. And then after you call her, make sure to ask her what is her availability for you to contact her again. And this is what I, I think goes wrong in relationships is the man stops calling. And if you stop calling, it's gonna make a woman think you're not interested. You can't wait on her to call you. Some women are very aggressive and they do go after you, call you, but that's not every woman. So I would say 
make sure to ask her what's her availability. And if you ask her and she says, uh, you can call me tomorrow around, uh, let's say two o'clock, you know, maybe this is a Sunday. And she says, yeah, it'll give me time to get up, you know, get my coffee, blah, blah, blah. Two o'clock would be good. And then call her at two o'clock. Make sure to call her from two to 2.15 to 2.30. Don't call her five o'clock after she said three o'clock. You know, I mean, because she may be waiting. She may, you know, be like, okay, he's gonna call me at two, you know, and then you, you never call. So it's gonna make her think you're not reliable. You're not a man of your word. So if she says call her two o'clock, call her at two. Call her at two and this is the time to start planning your next date, your next outing. What are you guys going to do on this next one? And this is where you'll find her availability, she'll find yours, and you guys will then make another date. I think what is happening in today's world is, excuse me, we give up too quick. And we don't pursue, and not only do we pursue, the, the man doesn't pursue the woman, he's not really acting very interested. And you have to know that if this woman, let's say she's online dating, there are so many messages in her box. If you're not acting like you're interested, there is somebody's gonna act like they're interested. Or let's say she meets a guy at the grocery store. Let's say she meets a guy at the mall. Let's say she meets a guy at the, I don't know, wherever she meets men or wherever you met her, She's constantly meeting men. So if you want to be in her life and you want to have a relationship and you really like this lady, you want to really get to know this lady, you have to be consistent. Consistency is the key. That's how the relationship starts. Back in the day, guys would ask you on a date. And I remember, like I said before, that's what I'm saying. Some of these things I've already said before, I said on videos before i remember when my ex-husband had asked me out he didn't stop contacting me he didn't stop oh oh you know because i remember telling my ex-husband okay give me your number and he was like oh no 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 no. he said uh, uh i want your number he said because if i give you my number and you don't like me you probably won't call me no more or you know he's so he wanted my number because he wanted to make sure that he didn't you know get the silent treatment where i didn't call him so he wanted to make sure that he was able to contact me. So guys, I think what is happening is you're giving up. And let's say it just doesn't work between you and her. You go on your first date and you're really not into her or she's not into you. Whichever the case may be, you have to go and, and, and can keep pursuing. We can't give up if we want love. We can't say, oh, um, I've been rejected three times this week you know, maybe I'm just not a good catch. That's not true. If it's, there's somebody for everybody. So this is what I would say to this gentleman. Just make sure that you are being consistent. If you are really wanting relationship, make sure everything you say you do, you do it. Don't tell her you're gonna do something and you don't be a man of your word. And make sure that you are also making updates. Men, you guys love to have us do everything. Oh, you know, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Why don't you plan a date? Why don't you say, okay, I'll plan a date and, and, and I'll take you here. Or can I surprise you? Or, you know, or maybe she's not one that she don't want to be surprised. And she's like, oh, well, I just prefer to go here. Whatever your flow is, just make sure you stay consistent. I think the number one thing that fails in relationships today is men do not pursue us women and they are not consistent and they drop off and you don't hear from them and when you drop off and you don't call her for two or three days trust me there's someone else trying to contact her so now she starts this process all over again so what i would say is no one wants to keep doing this none of us want to keep talking going through relationships talking to people over and over here we're talking to johnny today we're talking to matthew on wednesday Friday, we're talking to Jim, Saturday, nobody wants to do that. So I know that us women want relationships just like you men do. The only thing I think that is missing is for us to be consistent. And I think for the male and the female, this is not just the men and this is not just the women, but we have to start knowing that people are human. 
if someone makes a mistake, you have to know if he says something wrong or if he does something wrong, don't wipe him off on the first date. Have a second date. If he if it's if it continues to happen on the second date that and then you know that you you guys are probably just not compatible but i think we need to give each other a little grace in today's world none of us are perfect none of us are 100 none of us are 100 at all all of us are either 90 10 or 80 20 none of us because what you think you are you may not be that for that person that person may be looking for 100 and when they meet you they say oh no he's 80 20 I don't want that. I want a hundred. Girl, you ain't going to get a hundred until you get, unless you get Jesus. None of us is perfect. So I think what we're looking for today is we're looking for perfect people and we're never going to find anyone perfect. We're not. Man isn't going to find a perfect woman. The woman isn't going to find a perfect man. What we will have to do is we will have to work with each other with what we have. The baggage that you have in your trunk, I'm going to have to be with you through that. The baggage that I have in my trunk, you're going to have to work with me. Otherwise, we're going to be single and we're going to just live single all the days of our life. And the thing of it is, the son of us, some of us don't mind being single. Single is not a disease. There's nothing wrong with it. But then some of us do desire a relationship. We desire to be loved. We desire to be loved by someone and we want to love someone. So I hope that this uh, was very helpful to the gentleman that asked me about the relationships. Um, I didn't want to go into real depth because I do have several videos on um, relationships, but I will come back and talk about this subject again because I think it's very important that we both know and talk about these type of things because there's so many single people in the world. I mean, there's lots of single men. There's lots of single women. Why are we all single? And I think it's because we're kind of dropping the ball on certain things. You know, we're going to have to be consistent. The woman will also have to be consistent to where if you call her, she picks up, she talks to you. You know, if she's interested, but if she doesn't do any of those, she may not be interested. So you may have to go do this again. I'm sorry that this is what dating is all about. It's, you know, you meet somebody and you think, oh my God, I like her. I want to hang out with her. You know, this is what the guy is thinking. And then if she's not feeling that way, then you have to start all over again. And I'm sorry those things have to happen, but they do until we meet someone that, um, has the same chemistry of us that we end up meshing and liking and mending with. But I think the number one thing about all of that is for us to know that people are just not perfect. I think that a lot of us women are looking for perfect men and we're just not going to find him perfect. You know, we're looking for this guy to have everything. You know, I hear some women say that they want a man six foot one, six foot two, you know, but then she's 4'11", or I think we're just wanting things that really doesn't matter. His height should not be a complete breaker for us. It really shouldn't. If this is a good man, he will love you. He will be there for you. You know, he'll be the provider that you're looking for. You know, he'll be that spiritual man that you're wanting. All these things that she's wanting, he may have all of them, but then he just don't have that six one height. Come on, sis. We, we, we have to stop this because we will stay single because God just may know, sis, I ain't going to never give you no six one man. So if you don't take that man at five two, you may, you might be single for the rest of your life. And I know I can hear some women saying, so are you telling me to settle? Absolutely not. But I am saying, be realistic. Don't be looking for someone to be something that number one, you are not. If you are wanting a man to be every, like I said, if you're 4'11 and you're wanting a man 6'1, I mean, come on sis. But I can understand you probably wanting a man a little taller than you because I did, because I did not want my children to be short like me. I'm 4'11 and I always wanted, that's why I can talk on these things because this was once me. I wanted this really, really tall man. Do I want that now? Absolutely not. 
If I met a man that was 6'1 and we were into each other, yes, I would go for it. But that is not a deal breaker for me. A guy does not have to be 6'1. He doesn't have to be all of these rules that I once had. I know now in my life to make sure that he is a spiritual leader. He, I know the qualities that I'm looking for in a man. It's not just his height or his looks. When I was younger, it was a lot of that, but it's not that anymore as you get older. And the reason why is because you mature and you realize what's more important. You know, so, okay, guys, I'm going to I'm going to stop this video because I said they were going to stand in 10 minutes. So, but I wanted to talk just a little bit about that because he did ask me that question. So, um, I will continue to go over these topics. Guys, go ahead and leave me a topic of your choice in the comments. If there's anything you would like for me to go over, I do these videos within 10 minutes. This one is 15 minutes. I apologize, but I am going to try. As you can see, I'm talking as fast as I can. I am trying to keep these videos within 10 minutes. And the reason why is, <laughs> excuse me, I know you probably guys are wondering why is she worried about keeping them 10 minutes because people's attention span is not that long anymore on videos and I'm not trying to be funny but people and we all know it you click on a video if someone is not talking about what you want to talk about you hurry up and click off or you pretty much just want the meat of something you want it right then so I've realized that by videos because I have videos 30 40 50 minutes and I realize it'll tell you on your um YouTube creator page, how long people are watching your videos. So there's no sense in me making 50 minute videos if you're only watching for 15 minutes. You know what I mean? So I feel like 10 minutes is a good time frame to start keeping my videos at a good 10 minutes just going over the topic really quick. Give just giving you what you asked for basically and keeping what you didn't ask for. Alrighty guys, I love you and I hope that that um, was very helpful for the gentleman that asked me um, about the dating scene uh, right now. I will talk a little bit more about it um, as I get questions. You know, if you guys have any more questions about, you know, the relationship, the dating phase, any of that, let me know. Okay. Alrighty guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, these are questions that I do weekly, the Ask Leslie's and, um, I do, uh, I go over the topic of your choice, whatever you're asking me. Alrighty guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.